that chapter two that you mentioned in the book where we talk about the history of, of consulting. This is just such a fascinating story. Bruce Henderson, right, who founded Boston Consulting Group. He's competing with McKinsey. We're going back a number of decades. They're like, wow, McKinsey are like spanking us. We need to specialize in something. Uh, that's going to be our plan. So over a Saturday morning brainstorming session, they settled on strategy. Why did they decide on strategy? Not because anyone wanted strategy, but because it was such a vague term that they could define it and therefore become the de facto experts on it. Right? That was their plan. He, he wrote about it. And then he said, consulting is the most improbable business on earth and founded one of the biggest consulting companies in the world. Kudos to him and kudos to Boston Consulting Group. But what makes its way into the mainstream of business thought or the lexicon of management isn't necessarily what works best. It's what can be packaged and sold at scale, which is why it's always this framework or this mantra. And it's why these ideas are always a combination of two abstract nouns or verbs put together. Right? They're purposefully vague. If you think about something like digital transformation, it doesn't get any vaguer than that. The genius of, of using abstract nouns and verbs is that first of all, you get to define it and you get to also say why everyone else's definition is wrong. And then you get to say why it's so important. And then after a while, people are like, oh yeah, digital transformation. Oh yeah, design thinking. Oh yeah, omni-channel experience. Oh yeah, performance marketing. Right? Like they're always a combination of abstract nouns and verbs because they're so nebulous and imprecise and vague by design so that you can sell them. That's when true, you actually. see it, you can't unsee it.